Tracking marine wildlife with Argos transmitters and satellite altimetry data on ocean circulation is a great teaching tool for schools involved in Knesset's Argonautica educational program. But it's also a vital source of information for research scientists. We use Argos transmitters and satellites to track the movements of marine predators like penguins, albatross and elephant seals, so we can see at ocean scale where their main feeding grounds are. Satellite imagery of the ocean environment is very important because it allows us to compare where animals are against maps of surface temperature, ocean surface height and ocean productivity. These are key parameters to understand their movements. Turtles are very dependent on the distribution of currents to get about in the oceans. They migrate a long way between periods when they come ashore to lay their eggs and it's vital for us to have high-quality satellite imagery so we can relate their movements to the distribution of the main oceanographic parameters. Another example is the tracking of king penguins in relation to fronts in the Southern Ocean. King penguins dive to great depths for their prey, mainly small fish, sometimes as far as 300 meters. The fish they feed on are found in water masses at a very precise temperature, and climate models indicate these masses are going to move throughout this century. If we assume that temperatures will warm by 2 degrees, these predators are going to have to swim a lot further from their colonies to reach their favoured feeding grounds, and their chicks back on land might not survive as a result. On Crozet in France's southern islands, for example, if CO2 emissions continue at their current rate and global warming exceeds 2 degrees over the next 100 years, one of the largest populations of king penguins in the world is likely to become extinct.